I am just going to come right out and say it. And hopefully you allow me to explain myself. That way, even if you still disagree with me, at least you understand where I'm coming from. For the sake and value of your Dragonstones, it is actually smarter to skip Gogeta, or maybe even reduce your summons for this LR Tech Gogeta, and go crazy for Dragon Ball Heroes. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to spit some facts your way, which, which may change the way you think about it. But remember, I'm not telling you what to summon on. I'm not telling you, you know, you're dumb if you do this, you're dumb if you do that. You can summon for whatever you want. You can summon for a ball sack guy if you really want. I, I don't care. But I'm telling you, for the value of your Dragon Stones, it's actually better to summon for Dragon Ball Heroes. Let me explain why. But before we hop into it, as you guys know, I have a subscriber challenge for you. Now, if you already subscribed to the channel, uh, don't worry about it. Comment W because, you know, I, I do appreciate you. But for those of you that are not subscribed, that's completely okay. I have a challenge for you today. All right. If you plan on going crazy for LR Tech Gogeta when he comes out, like, you know, balls deep for this guy, you don't care about heroes, then I'm going to let you off the hook and you don't have to subscribe today. However, if you know you're going to summon for heroes at least once. If you know you're going to pull back your dragon stones for this tech Gogeta to save for heroes, then you got to subscribe to the channel. I do, I do appreciate, sorry, everyone being here, and hopefully you guys are having a great day. Let's hop straight into this video. Let's compare both heroes and the LR tech Gogeta banner. So first major difference that I have to get out the way right away is that Dragon Ball Heroes is guaranteed featured guaranteed feature now we know that dragon ball heroes will most likely have six new units keep that in mind right so uh last year uh we got D i call her super saiyan 5 demon goddess lingerie toa uh then we have bardock go uh vegeto sorry i almost said gogeta vegeto broly gohan well, yeah gohan sorry and then demon god deborah last year we also had six new characters so i think this year we're also going to get six new characters one of which is most likely going to be this pan right so because i think it is confirmed that she's actually summonable but even though it's six new characters guess what it is guaranteed feature which means you cannot get shafted on this banner even if you don't pull this the specific unit you don't okay even if you don't pull the specific unit you want you're still pulling something featured from this banner and what happens is if you skip this banner and wait till next year because again these units always only come around once a year which i'll get to a little bit later these feature units are going to become unfeatured which means it's harder to pull these units so i'm telling you right now guaranteed featured is an amazing thing now gogeta's banner guess what it is not guaranteed featured if you spend 100 dragon stones on this tech gogeta banner you can literally pull absolute trash like the two random ssrs but guess what if you summon on dragon ball heroes any ssr you pull before the guaranteed slot is for free right because a guaranteed slot that the last slot is going to be a featured character no matter what so in terms of value all right for your box that makes it just so much more worth it summoning on heroes than gogeta i would hate for you okay to summon for tech gogeta do 1000 stones and pull like one copy of uh, physical go tenant trunks which they're pretty good uh you know and agl pycon and tech janemba and that's it right all the other multis were just trash multis no really good unfeatured unit but dragon ball heroes you spend 1000 stones you might you might rainbow this pan right or who you, you know who you might rainbow super saiyan for kaioken gogeta bro like the, all these crazy fusions and units and transformations they're possible when it comes to this so i'm telling you right now in terms of your stones and value it's better to go for the heroes banner now i'm pretty sure these heroes units won't be better than this gogeta but if you pull three featured new units most likely those units as a collective are going to be more worth it and more beneficial for your box than one new dokkan fest right now the second point i want to bring up is of course availability T this unit specifically this tech gogeta will be available in the future especially with red coins now when it comes to all these other all these other units have already been uh, been available in the game all these units will eventually, every single unit on this banner will return. This AGL Gotenks will be available literally in the next banner that drops. Because this guy gets added immediately to the unfeatured pool. So, 
all of these units you will see again before a year. And there's a good chance you'll pull a few copies of them before a year comes around. But guess what? Dragon Ball Heroes, that isn't the case. Dragon Ball Heroes is only available one time a year. One time a year. So at the end of the day, it's like, do you summon? Do you spend all of your stones on something that is only available once a year? Or do you go crazy for units that you may not pull now, but you may end up pulling three, four, five copies of in the future? Now, I understand that you want this Gogeta now. I get it. And at the end of the day, remember, you can summon for whatever you want. You can spend your stones on whatever you want. But I'm telling you right now, the, the value of this banner is absolutely insane. Now, when it comes to heroes as well, we also have confirmation for awakenings. So all the way to the left here, we have this Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I'm telling you right now, if you pull this guy, um, he is going to be beneficial to all of these categories, including Super Saiyan 3, because we will be getting that. Hopefully, he's end up, he ends up being really, really good. We're also getting this Vegex uh, Awakening, who he goes into Super Saiyan. He does stack. This guy's also going to be very, very valuable. I'm telling you that right now. Also stacks defense. Like, dude, I can imagine you do three multis and end up pulling like this Chad, this guy, this guy, which we'll get to in a second. And then like, you, again, the Pan or Super Saiyan 4, Kyle Ken Gogeta. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's, 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 I would rather pull one copy of every single hero's units on this banner and and benefit my box greatly than just one copy of this LR Gogeta. That's just my opinion, all right? Again, you may disagree, which is fine. But at least you understand that you can go 1,000 stones and not get anything on this banner. But you can go 1,000 stones here and rainbow a few featured units. It's just the way it works, okay? Now, this guy will also be getting Awakening. Then this Goku and this Vegeta. They're very, very, very important because not only... Uh, are they getting awakenings, right? Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta. But their support ability, they might end up being three key and 40% supports to Goku's family and then Vegeta for Vegeta's family. If that's the case, these become some of the most valuable units in this game. I'm telling you that right now. Some of the most valuable units in this game. Imagine having a three key, 40% support. So go to Goku's family. You can run this guy on all, dude, all of these Goku units. Are you kidding me? Look at, uh, it's not even loading. That, that, that's, look at all this, dude. I, I, I mean, I guess you can look at it because it's loading, but you get three key and 40% to attack and defense to this massive Goku's fa Look at this, dude. Now, if you summon for this unit right here, or this banner, and, th and you end up pulling, you know, this Gotenks, this Gotenks is very powerful. He's also a three key, 40% support. But he supports time limit. Let's take a look at time limit for a quick second, okay? Time limit, as you can see, is not... It's still loading. It's taking forever to load. Time limit is a very thick category. I'm not going to sit here and cap, right? It's a very thick category. Not the largest of all time. But this Gotenks will definitely support a lot of powerful units. But you compare this to Goku's family? Dude, like, where, where is the value really going? And then you end up having the Vegeta, right? For Vegeta's family, like, you have... Some of the most impactful units in this game. I'm telling you right now, this Goku and this Vegeta uh, might end up really being some units that you have to run on certain teams, especially for hard, difficult content like SBR, Extreme SBR, whatever. It just it, it's, okay. I can't speak English. I'm, I'm getting excited over here, bro. It just depends on how good they end up. They end up being, but their supportability is going to make them very, very powerful. And keep just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, then we also have the awakening for this guy who he will go into Super Saiyan 3. I have him rainbowed. So I'm actually very excited about this. Um, and I'm telling you right now, he's probably going to be very, very, very powerful as well. And of course, Super Saiyan 3, a category who isn't really that great, will be getting buffed, right? Super Saiyan 3 will have two new characters after these awakenings. And hopefully some other Super Saiyan 3 heroes units, right? Like if we go to... Um, if we go to the Super Saiyan 3, this uh, Gohan right here, hopefully he gets an easy A because he's not good. Same thing with this Trunks. Is this the only super type AGL heroes unit? That's actually pretty weird. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's actually pretty weird. Okay. Um, so, again, this Trunks should be... I feel like he could be getting an easy A. I feel like this guy could get an easy I feel like this guy could also get an easy A. Super Saiyan 3, if you, if you love that team, love that category... It's beneficial, I'm telling you right now, to summon on this banner, dude, because Super Saiyan 3 could definitely be getting a buff. I mean, and remember, Gogeta will be coming out most likely before Heroes, so you have to decide. Do you skip Heroes and take a chance? No, do you skip Gogeta and take a chance on Heroes? Or do you summon like crazy for, for, for Gogeta and then come to find out that this Hero Celebration is the craziest thing and you wish you had stones? I'm telling you right now, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to call, but I'm telling you right now, 
I, as I said 15 million times in this video, this is more worth it. For the value of your stones, this is more worth it. Sure, you may like Gogeta more. That's, com that's, that's completely fine, all right? I'm not telling you to like who to like more or who to like less. I'm just saying, if, you, if you're someone who plays this game and says, I only want someone on, on banners that, you know, have a good chance of pulling something, here's is the way to go. If you want a banner where you can get, you can collect a lot of new characters, guaranteed, you, I'm telling you right now, you want to go with Dragon Ball Heroes, okay? So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this category is only going to continue getting better. It's only available once a year, though, so keep that in mind. Hopefully, we get an LR, too, man. Imagine a free-to-play LR for Heroes. Four key, 150% to the, the category. I think would be pretty sick. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is just my opinion at the end of the day. Uh, these awakenings by themselves just is a lot it's a lot of content already i i, can, I honestly cannot wait uh let me know what you think what will you do let me in the comment section below are you skipping heroes are you skipping gogeta or are you gonna summon just a little bit on gogeta and summon a lot on heroes or you know summon most on gogeta and only a little bit on heroes what is your plan what are you doing again let me know in the comment section below i wish you best of luck on whatever summons you decide to embark on and i'll see you guys in the next one